Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Did you guys miss my Kardashian unboxings? <laughs> okay, I got so many DMs. Like, girl, when are you doing another Kardashian unboxing? They drop new stuff on the Kardashian closet site all the time. And you guys are like, hello, we need another video. Whenever you guys see the new drop, I feel like that's what keeps you guys reminding me. And I haven't done one in a really long time. So we're here and I have Miss Kimberly stuff. So let me just tell you this. If you guys don't know what Kardashians, by the way, subscribe. Before we get into, subscribe. Have you subscribed? Very good. All right, continuing on. So here's the Kardashians closet. We got a little update on the website. I'm pretty impressed. It looks much sharper. What I wanna show you is these bags they've got on the site, you guys. I'm screaming, $10,000. Right there is an Hermes rare bag, 7,000, 4,000. This is Kendall's bag. I did not buy any of these expensive bags. Obviously they're still for sale. I just wanted you to see like, oh my God, those bags. Hermes wallet, $17,000 for that. Look at this bag, you guys. Are you ready to scream? You see this? It's a Birkin, I believe. Yes, it is an Hermes Birkin 30. It is $65,000 on the site. Absolutely not. And now I know this is some people's fantasy in like their world and I respect that. However, it is not mine. So that's what we know today. Anyways, I did buy a bunch of stuff. It costs a lot of money and we're gonna open it up right now. Box cutter! I got these off Amazon, they're little clouds. They're real cute. By the way, I got a giveaway in this video. If you guys wanna enter, all you guys have to do is subscribe and leave a comment down below. So be a subscriber of mine, leave a comment down below and I'm gonna pick 10, 10 of you. 10 of you guys are gonna win a box pack full of makeup. It's time to give away the makeup I got in PR. You guys know I always give it back to you for being my loyal viewers. You know I love you guys. I've given away so much makeup and I'm so happy I get like to do that because of the PR. So I, I've, I've I've boxed up 10 boxes for you guys. Comment on this video. Comment, thumbs it up, be a subscriber. I'm gonna pick 10 of you. Okay, this one's a little bit of a bigger box than normal. Here we have it. First thing on top. Oh, I know what this is. Oh! So they also like have new custom tissue paper. I feel like they're like, Making it all nice now. Ooh, this is a prettier color than what looks online. So this dress is by the brand Miu Miu, and I have a couple bags by Miu Miu, and they have the cutest stuff. That's the la label, and it's like this sheer little dress. Now, this dress is like such a tiny little piece of fabric, so sheer, 345 bucks. I don't know why, it's just the name. But I will say this, this dress is so pretty, and like, I cannot wait to wear it. I mean, I'm gonna say that, even though it's 345 bucks. It was Kim's. It does look like it has been worn. Let me find a dress at a very similar price, if not the same dress. And let's uh, cross compare cost. Um, you guys, I know this is about to sound kind of crazy, but it's it's looking like I kind of got a good deal on this dress. Other Miu Miu dresses, there's like nothing under $2,000. How crazy is that? Now, the dresses that I, I try to find like a plain one from Miu Miu, and I did find like this plain black one here, $3,000. $3,000. And then some of the other one that had a little more detail, like this one has all this detail, some Mimi dress, 2,800. Now I'm suddenly like, wait, did I get a good deal? Did I like actually get a really good deal on a Mimi dress? I think I kind of did. Yeah, so I'm on the Mimi site and like they do not sell any clothing for under $1,000. So I'm like, <laughs> did I get a steal? Just looking at it right off, I don't see Literally, it looks brand new. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't have the tag, so chances are it, it definitely could have been worn by Kim, but I don't see any like makeup marks, and sometimes we do see that, but not in this case. I kinda wanna smell it. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> You know we have to, it's tradition at this point in these videos. But it doesn't smell like anything. Hang tight. We're gonna be trying all this on once I unbox it all. And we will be doing a further close-up investigation. Before we jump into our next item, I wanna quickly give Caseify a shout out. Thank you to Caseify for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Now what I have here is a bucket bin full of Caseify phone cases. You guys know they are my absolute favorite. You know why I love them, especially because of their cuteness. This one's my favorite. It's like has this cool reflectiveness to it. It has these flowers. They're definitely my vibe, but they also have all different types of designs truly endless designs I have some more coming in. I can't wait to show you They're like all a very sophisticated neutral vibe So they have colorful ones as you can see here that are super spunky You can even customize them and have your name put on them and they also have like neutral ones So if you're like like a quieter phone case something a little bit softer You can even customize that and that's why I love them so much But also because the protection so case latest technology protection 
protection is called EcoShock. It's embedded in their iPhone 14 Impact Series to help protect your phone for everyday use. So with over 20% increased protection on your phone, the best thing about that is that their phone cases have remained so slim and sleek. I know a lot of protective phone cases out there get bigger and bulkier and take up a ton of space and are super annoying, but case defy the way they design their EcoShock cases, they remain sleek and then they have the bumpers on the end to really protect your phone. The new EcoShock technology protects your phone for up to 11 point five feet drop guys that's huge think of 11 feet that's insane and that is how great it protects your phone case of iphone cases are five times the military standard meaning that they have been drop tested up to 130 times to make sure that the eco shock does not wear off caseify's iphone 14 cases are made up of 65 percent recycled and plant-based materials so you can feel good about buying your phone case from caseify you guys can go to caseify.com forward slash laura lee to get 15% off your purchase. Be sure to check them out. I will have them linked right in the description box right down below. Now let's jump back into the video. Our next item, let's open it up. Ooh, okay, I wanted this. This looks very, very cool. It's like this metallic windbreaker jacket. I thought it was like kind of a different material and I don't know why I thought that line, but it looks so cool. And then the back has got the logoing on it. I don't know this brand, I'm gonna be honest. I'll try to look up and see if I see pictures of Kim wearing this at any point. It's interesting, it's got like breather holes in the armpits of it, which is nice because it's nylon-y. So this is called Satisfied Jacket. I got it in a size small and I paid 395 bucks for it. So again, another super pricey piece and it's giving space alien, but I definitely would wear this for sure. I'm going to Montana soon and I feel like, I've never heard of the brand Satisfy. It says design in Paris for running. So I'm sure it's like a nice designer brand. We're gonna look up something similar, this brand and see if $3.95 was a good price. Also, I'm going to Montana soon, so I was like thinking that could be like a cute item from Montana. Okay, this brand, Satisfy, it looks like they sell windbreakers. Oh, I found the exact one. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> it says 390 euros, which I think translates to $470. So it looks like I got this one for close to 100 bucks cheaper, about 70 bucks cheaper than what it would normally cost. So I'll put that little screenshot on the screen so you can see their website and kind of their Vibe. The jacket has a ton of detail to it. I'm seeing like pool ties everywhere, holes everywhere, breathable spots everywhere. So it is giving designer, like the vibe here is giving designer. I don't really see any air areas or signs of like really hardcore wear. I can definitely tell like this was worn maybe once or twice because it looks like the logoing around the tag area is faded just a little bit. Like it could have been washed, dry cleaned. I don't know, but it does look worn. And let's move on to our next. I'm gonna pull out my most favorite item and I know it's my most favorite item because I can see it peeking out right here. And so like, I know like this is the item. I want it very badly. And the thing is these were a six and a half and I'm a seven. So we're gonna find out towards the end of the video if these actually fit me. If they don't, I will be fully devastated, truly. These shoes are by Rossi. They are 695 bucks. So definitely not affordable. Let's open them up. I mean, the Kardashian closet, like the point is the stuff that they're selling on it is like designer. I guess you could say like none of it it's going to be cheap. <laughs> okay, so these shoes are so beautiful. Oh my God. They have like the rhinestone. I love the pointed toe on it. It's velvet. The first thing I did notice is I flipped them over and I will say they are without the box, but these shoes are like brand spanking new, which is so cool. I got these for $6.95. It says they're made in Italy. I know this brand, I'm more familiar with it and they do make a lot of nice shoes and it just laces up around your ankle, but I just thought this was like the prettiest heel I had ever seen. I also don't see like any toe marks in them at all, just looking here. So I feel like honestly they may not even have been tried on, but they are so pretty. Let's investigate to see if I got a good price or not. If these don't fit me, I'm gonna cry, guys. But what it's looking like, I wanna try to find the exact heel because for some reason I'm confident I can do that. But as of right now, it looks like I paid about the normal price for when these are resold because they have some on Farfetch for around $6.95. But if I were to buy these brand new, which these technically are brand new, like look at the bottom, like these have never been worn perfect condition. It looks like his shoes um, range from about 750 to 900 bucks and I paid 695 so it looks like I paid a little less than average for these if I would have bought them brand new in the store versus on Kardashian closet it was a good deal 
if they fit me. Because there is a friendly reminder out there, there are no returns on the Kardashian closet. So baby, whatever you buy, you own it. That's the rule. But the thing is, there's like a lot of fuzz and dust on these. So in my theory in the world, my theory is that Kim had these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pumps sitting in her closet on the shelf, literally collecting dust as velvet typically does. Velvet is like the dust magnet. And she said, I haven't worn these and I'm not gonna wear them, so let's sell them. And here I am to take them off her hands. We're gonna retry them on. If I'm devastated, I'm devastated. But at least I tried. Okay, I bought another pair of shoes from Miss Kimberly. Me and Kim are like kind of the same size. She normally sells her shoes in a seven or seven and a half. And suddenly she's got some like six and a half on the site. And I'm like, what's going on? Did your foot shrink? Or are you getting rid of shoes because they don't fit you? So the next pair of shoes I bought, they're Milano's. It says rare, like this is a rare find, this shoe. And I got it for 350. And I know Milano's a little more than I know some of the other brands. And I will say that their shoes typically cost like a thousand. But I'm gonna try to find these exact ones. Isn't this beautiful? Like handmade in Italy. Honey, that's rich. Look at this hill. It is so pretty. I do see a little wear. I don't know if these were worn around in a home, but you can see right around the edges where these were worn for sure. Even the hill a little bit, and you can definitely tell kind of where they were bent here. If you can see that bendage there where when they were wore is how the shoe naturally bends as you walk in them. And then there's some bendage. You can kind of see the light reflecting right in here where the shoe was bent as it was wore. So yeah, these definitely have a little bit of wear on them, but they're in pretty much perfect condition and they are so pretty. They don't, the picture online doesn't do these justice. These are, these are way prettier than that. I love these. Oh, let me see if I can find them online for how much they originally cost. Okay, by the way, we're gonna go back to the shoe really quickly before we discuss the price on the Mil Milano's. These I found the exact shoe. I knew I could do it. They were at Bergdorf's. $1,200, actually $1,300, because they're for $1,295. So technically like after tax and all, you're gonna be well over $1,300 for the shoe. $1,300 guys, and I got it for $6.95. Almost half price, brand new, almost half price. Done, it's a steal. It's kind of not a steal, because it's like a still a $700 shoe, but like in comparison, if I went and bought it, Let's look up these. Okay, here's the tea on these. I found a suede sling back, pretty much same hill. And this has a little bit of a different style. This one may be last season. This one could be this season. I don't know. But these are the um, suede sling back pumps from them for $8.45, brand new. I, is there a mosquito in here? I swear to God, a paid actor in our film today. Anyways, $8.45. I got these for $3.50. For $3.50. Comparable to about eight, nine hundred bucks. $3.50. I think that that is a pretty nice discount. Thank you, Kardashian Closet. Okay, here's the tea. I did end up going and buying a few things from Kylie's side. Because on Kim's side, I was like, I feel like there should be more here. <laughs> There's a lot on there. I just didn't want a $60,000 purse, you know. So I popped over to Kylie's section. I was like, let me just take a gander. There is a mosquito in here. I see it in the viewfinder. And whoever you are, it's time for you to go. Who else is battling mosquitoes? I bought this pair of earrings that I saw and I was very excited. Ooh, it's nice. It comes in this little black velvet bag. These are by Jacumez, which is one of my favorite designer brands. Oh, these are a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> I thought these were so small. Oh my God, I thought these were so small. So these are gonna be an interesting journey for me. I got these for $350, which by the way are not cheap. She totally put the inches on there and I just failed to read, which is very Larly. These definitely look worn for sure. And I say that because the little thing that goes in your ear, the little sticker part that shoots out is bent. And it just seems like, yeah, there's like little, I don't know if you can see, it's just like, smudges on them kind of where they were worn and like pressed against a face somewhere. I wonder if we can dig up a picture of Kylie. I will Google and see what I see. Sometimes I struggle with that. Look how big these are. I'm about to try them on, don't you worry. 350 bucks, so let's see. I couldn't find Kylie Jenner wearing them actually, but I did find these on Trade C and they were originally listed for 930 bucks, but they're on sale on Trade C. These exact earrings for $883 and I got them for 350. 
So there definitely was a mega discount in price. I feel like these were definitely worn. And I think, okay, let's just go ahead and try these on. Imagine my hair slicked back, a nice sleek bun happening, just catch the vision with me. And then like a simple black dress, something not too loud, not too crazy. It's really not the attention seeker in the outfit. But what's going to be the moment and the real statement is this big scrunchie earring. It looks like a scrunchie. Does that not look like a hair tie? But if you get real creative with it, it looks more artsy than a scrunchie because it's like gold metal. Also, it comes with like these actual Jacumez interesting backs to the earring. So one back is square. I'll do a close up so you can see. But one back of the earring is square and one back of the earring is round, which is cute. And like she actually kept up with the backs because I probably will lose these really quickly. These are hard to get on. Oh! You know what's funny? These are actually really lightweight when I hold them in my hand, but when I put them in my ear, they're heavy AF, honey. My ear hole is going to be ripped down to my elbow by the time I get done wearing these. <gasps> I'm definitely going to get this ripped out of my ear if I wear it out in public. I can feel it. Okay, look. <gasps> you guys, I don't know if I can wear these. Like, what am I going to be doing in these? I'm gonna wear them. I'm gonna man up and wear them. I just feel like my hair needs to be up with these, but they're bigger than my head. So are we gonna do hair down? It, I think these are giving hair down. <laughs> what did I buy? These hurt so bad, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> if you see me wearing these, like on Instagram, IG story anywhere, if you're like, oh, she's wearing the earrings, I want you to know factually that my ear holes are bleeding and that I chose to wear them anyways. That's all I need you to know. All right, I did that. So I bought one more thing. I got a little crazy, you guys. I bought one more thing. And it was also from Kylie's section. I bought more stuff from Kim's, but I mean. Look at this. Isn't it the cutest thing you've ever seen? It looks like a little booger. This here is a big fleecy jacket that I got from Kylie's section. It is so heavy. When I saw the color of this, I was like, yep, that's mine. <laughs> I typically wouldn't buy myself an expensive jacket like this. I would rather buy a nice bag or pair of shoes. Not apparel so much, but. I mean, when in Rome, it's by Acme Studios. I have not heard of them before. And it is this really gorgeous pullover. It's actually a big fleece pullover. And I could just see myself definitely never taking this off if it ever gets cold outside. It also has this interesting material on the sleeve. So let's talk about the pricing a little bit. Also, it says that this is a rare find and I got it in a medium. I paid 495 bucks for it. So around after tax, like 500 bucks for it. Let's look it up and see how much it costs if I just bought it brand new. Okay, I figured out what's rare about the hoodie. It's the color which that was my actual favorite thing about it. And it's probably rare because everybody got it. They have it in purple and ivory at Nordstrom here. And it says around $620 is what the average cost of it is. I kind of feel like I got a win here because when being bougie, but because like at a regular price, one, you can't find it in green. And two, I found it in green and paid way less for it than what I would pay if I would have bought it brand new for Nordstrom, which would have been 650 and I paid about 500, so saved about $120 on this, and I think that's great. Do I think this was been worn? I definitely do. Okay, I'm gonna show you. There's a full Kylie hair, or somebody's hair up in here. I'm about to do a close up before I pull it out. But you can just like tell, you know, when something's been thrown through the wash, kind of worn a little bit. And I could see why, because this is the cutest, coziest thing ever. I'm sure Miss Kylie wore this and enjoyed it. I will not be getting rid of it. I will be enjoying it. But anywho, let's head on over to inspections. We're gonna inspect all this actually. Actually, now I'm gonna do some close-ups and show you guys any signs of wear. All right, I kept my clothing on that I had on and put this over it because it's a transparent like slip dress, but it fits great. It hugs the body great. And I really like the way it looks. My intentions are to get like a more or less black <laughs> undergarment for it, like a nudie sheer and double up the layers or something, but I feel like this could be really cute on still like to wear out. Like a cute little slip dress. Here we have the windbreaker jacket and it's actually cuter on me than I actually thought it would be. I like the little hand strappies. I feel like this is a pretty cool find. I like I like how long it is in the back. I like like the vibe and the fit of it. It fits really well. So I could definitely see myself wearing this. It's super comfortable, lightweight, but it still looks really really, really chic for like a windbreaker jacket. I feel like I could style this nicely for like a day out, for a hike in LA or something like that. Looks like high visibility jogger jacket. This feels like a nighttime jog. That's what it's giving. This reflective jacket, I mean, it really doesn't look like it was worn much. 
just looking at the tag, I'm like, does it look like it's lifting a little bit or like it was worn a little bit? Maybe in here, but this may or may not have been worn. It's in pretty much perfect condition. And I even checked around areas that get the wear and tear, which is typically around the arms and I don't see anything. So this little strap goes around your hand, so. Maybe she wore this out to the kids' soccer practice, or maybe not at all. Tyler, what do I look like in this? It's giving... I said it's giving a booger. Um... But isn't it cute? It's so big, guys. It's like so thick, I feel like I can barely move in it. You know what it's giving? What? Oscar the Grouch. <gasps> Oscar the Grouch, who's that? In the trash can, Sesame Street. I guess I see that, but I'm not gonna lie. This is so cute and I love this. <laughs> I love it. I love how oversized it is. I want oversized everything. So this is like kind of perfect for me. Like I love the vibe that this is. Tell me this isn't like the most comfy, cozy thing ever. It does look pretty cozy. It is. Too bad it was 94 degrees outside today. So I'm gonna have to store this for a little bit, but I'm pretty excited about this pullover fleecy find. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, because I don't have blonde hair. So if anyone wants a blonde hair and then, <laughs> again, these jackets, like in my opinion, they tend to collect hair. Just want to show you guys the inside. Another blondie. I don't know whose this was, but lots of blonde hair on it. So, adorable jacket. I definitely think it's been worn, but it's a good find. It's really cute. Also has like, oh, that's just a little bit of fuzz. Thought it was a dark spot. And then also let's talk about the shoes for a little bit here. These are the heels and they do fit, hallelujah. And they're actually super, super comfortable and neutral. So I could definitely see me wearing these an absolute ton, which makes me excited because they're kind of perfect for fall time. So these are definitely a wind and they kind of look cute with this dress too. All right guys, these have definitely been worn. You can see like, I mean, I'm gonna clean them up, but you can see where they've been worn and these were Miss Kim's and you can see on the bottom maybe they were worn on carpet or like an inside event maybe a little outdoor event I don't know can you guys see the bin that I'm seeing in them the ripple in the bin yep that's definitely been worn this part is so clean for a worn shoe this white little strip but I can definitely tell a little bit of wear on them from Kimberly which these are absolutely gorgeous and these will get a lot of love from me so what do you guys think? Worn, not worn? I definitely say they were worn. All right, guys, they fit me! Guys, these are six and a half, I'm normally a seven, and I feel like because they're open toe, like I can get by with them, but they're actually pretty comfy because the heel on them is not like incredibly high, and you can adjust the strappy part to however tight you need it. So these really worked out for me, and I think these look so freaking pretty on. Oh my gosh, I will say this is probably the item that I'm like most excited for that I got out of the collection. So you know you're gonna see me in these. You know you're gonna see me around in these. These are so a good find. So see this marking here? I just don't know if they were worn. Maybe they were tried on and now you can kind of see the dust I was talking about. So this is what I was talking about where I think they like may have sat in her closet. Maybe she tried them on a time or two. I mean they're gorgeous. They're literally gorgeous but I mean that has just not been worn. Like maybe tried on but not actually worn. It's so brand new but I don't know. What do you guys think? All right guys here is the close-up of the earring. So can you see the smudging and fingerprinting? Like, of course some of that's mine, but like some of it's not mine and I can just tell they're worn. Plus, as I was saying, like, do you see how the point is kind of bent on them? That, they are really hard to get on and off, so I can understand why that's bent. I'll probably bend it myself putting them on, but it, it was bent when I got them. Not that I'm upset about that by any means. I mean, it's just like, totally fine but do you see all the markings on them these were definitely worn and i tried to look up a picture of kylie wearing them and i did not see one so maybe she just didn't wear them when she was out but gorgeous earrings all right guys that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for being here and watching don't forget to enter the giveaway all you gotta do is subscribe i will catch you in my next video be sure to subscribe before you leave bye guys